Welcome back to the channel guys. It finally happened. I found some Lapua long range and now I get to test it even though it's very windy today. Still gonna do it. Super pumped just to see how this stuff works in my CZ457 LRP. So let's get to it. Let's get to shooting. So I'm pretty excited to actually finally get my hands on some of this. $21.99, so it's not ridiculous like 10X and stuff like that. Hopefully it's as good as the hype says it is. Unfortunately, we have a bit of wind, but the temperatures are kind of cool, so it's bearable for me. Since I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to hot weather. We're just gonna do a normal test here. Make sure you got the chronograph hooked up. So we get some velocities. And we'll see if anything weird happens through the chronograph. At the end of the video, we'll measure our groups. We'll see what we did and see how well this stuff actually performs at 50 yards only today. I will be taking it out farther, but I'm gonna pick more of this up. I just wanted to get my hands on just a bit. There's only a little bit left at the store, but they're getting more in soon. That means I'll be getting more soon. So without further ado, let's light up this target. Like I said, we're at 50 yards. I'm going to be shooting center target just to get our zero on, maybe 10 shots in total. And then we'll do four or five shot groups around the outside and we'll check our data out, see what we get, see what we did. So here we go. Natural point aim, just holding dead center. Pretty much bang on already. One out of the five. Dropped a bit low. I'll do another five shots holding at the bottom edge of that diamond on the same target to see how we can continue to do here. They're trending a little bit high. But very, very good ammo so far. I'll drop down a click. That should do it. First 10 shots. And the chronograph picked them up. So we're in business here. So now let's shoot top left target. I'm going to hold... Uh, top edge of that diamond and as you can see this well you may not be able to see but there's quite a bit of wind and here we go group number one that could be affecting something I like to run the bipod one click down. And there's no springy bounciness to it. I have to even my rifle back out, level it. This group might be screwed up and I am sweating a bit now. Damn. Okay, here we go. Continuing on with that group. This seems to be solid ammo. All right. Now I'll move to group number two. Shift my whole body over. Try to get that natural point of aim. Okay. 
All right, should be good here. Here we go, group number two. Awesome ammo. I'm super pumped. I'm picking up a lot of this stuff. That's one whole group. So maybe I should shoot the Captain America with this stuff too. We have till September or end of September, I believe. So amazing. The 8th Range Challenge. If you haven't done it yet, go out there and do it, guys. Awesome challenge. Super fun. And it's uh, there's, it's just for fun. So have fun. Get out and shoot. Group number three. Top edge of that diamond again. What is going on now? All of a sudden. That's coming back, I guess. That's five rounds left. You know what? Let's uh, shoot five more at the bottom and I'll do a 10 shot group on the last target. How about that? Here we go. Bottom edge of Lower right target. Natural point of aim is off. There we go. There we go. Didn't pick up the last round. Pretty frickin' good groups, I must say. I think for the 10 shot, I'm gonna shoot for dead center in that last target. And we'll, group 10, we'll measure these groups. And I think by now, we already know that this is probably the best stuff I've shot out of this rifle ever. Pretty solid. Here we go. Oh no. One ragged hole group. Well, gotta say, pretty much very impressed with this stuff. Uh, 22 bucks a box. It's almost reasonable to be buying this over my SK standard I normally shoot. SK standard's pretty good, but this stuff is definitely next level. So you'll probably be seeing a lot more of this stuff in my CZ on my range for sure. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I also have another channel called Vintage Power Sports where I do all my other stuff like working on bikes, quads, snow machines, trailers, my van, everything else I do is on that channel. If you want to check that out, uh, please subscribe to that channel as well. Hope to see you guys around and thanks for watching. Take care guys.